Hey, what's good guys? It's your boy G Marcus TV back with a brand new video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We are doing Vlogmas. This is Vlogmas day 15. We are recording until the 25th. So let's just get straight to it. So I'm doing a recap and review on episode number eight of the show Queens. And this one is entitled God's Plan. So of course, as you guys know from the last episode, Eric got shot and Brianna got shot. But the whole episode is basically just them being in the hospital, just going doing it in the hospital because they don't know who's gonna make it, who's not gonna make it. So Jill prayed a lot in this episode, a whole lot. Praying heavy for Eric and she's playing heavy for break. So they have flashbacks from 1993 where they all met. So it shows when Brie met Naomi, which is in school. They end up going to one of their houses afterwards. And the mom made a play date, which the play date happened to be Jill. So this is the first day, first time they're all hanging out, all seeing each other, meeting each other for the first time. And Jill is bigger, she had glasses, she was kind of geeky, more geeky than all of them. So they're all in the room, they're rapping, they're having a good time now, freestyling, rapping, and Jill's just sitting down. So as they're rapping, going back and forth, Jill eventually gets up and she starts rapping about God and the rap is so good. Jill was focused on rapping about God, Brianna was focused on getting grades, being smart, and Naomi was more the spitter, more of the like the hardcore type of rap. But the girls, they do their first show and they kill it. One of the moms was really upset about that, like did not like the fact that they was on stage. Took them in the car, was taking them home, she did not approve of it. Same time as they're going home, who pops up? Your boy Eric pops up and he says, yo, I see potential in you guys. Like, let's work together. Like, let me be your manager. And they take his card. And that's how the throwback part of the show went. So they all get boarded for questioning by this new detective and they're given who they think it might be. Of course, Muffin is given Jada Kid, Valeria is given the fake mom, and Jill says it's her ex-girlfriend. So later on in the show, it all turns out they all was wrong. After doing the investigation, everybody had an alibi, everybody had something going on that day. The only person that did not have something going on was Jada Kiss. So Eric survives and this j refused to give the detectives clues on who shot him. Like he dead was not snitching, which was really stupid. Like really you just got shot and one of your people just got shot. Are you not gonna snitch? Turns out that Bree did not wake up yet, but she needs surgery because she's paralyzed from from below her neck so she's not gonna be able to walk unless she has surgery so the doctor just goes like yo like you know i'm gonna leave it up to you guys to have surgery because she could die and surgery is risky but hey it's a good chance that she's gonna she's gonna be crippled girls they with it just do the surgery and the mom just says no not doing the surgery which i'm just like are you crazy she's just like don't touch my daughter anymore she's been through enough pain and the girls just looking at her like she's stupid like why the hell would you not want her to get surgery take the chance what would you guys do so eric and naomi like they you know she's happy that he's alive of course and she just says yo we're gonna be a family now like you know we have a daughter together so he, she decides to put his name on a birth certificate and they ended up just being you know real sweet and cuddled with each other and they end up kissing each other she's actually dating somebody else so this is gonna be kind of effed up like she just went on a date with another guy so Valeria is just a fake mom who's currently in jail for a crime unrelated to what happened with the shooting. She visits her and was just like, yo, the mom tells her I did not do it. So she's just like, did you tell me the truth? Did you actually tell me my mom's name? Because in the last episode, she gave the mom real name. So she just says that the mom is dead. So of course, it's just like, damn. So all that, so you basically was pretending to be a dead woman. Like, that's kind of sick. She's just like, I'll give you more, all the information you need if you just get me a good lawyer. So she just looked at her like, you stupid? She gave more information that she was leaving. So it's just like, you could tell that she's very desperate. The boy Jada Kiss visits your boy Eric in the hospital when he just says, yo, I had nothing to do with it, but we still got some unfinished business. We still got some we gotta take care of. So I'll definitely deal with you after, but you just better make it clear that I'm not the one that shot you. Why the hell would I shoot you and a female? Like the detective revealed that they know who the shooter is. They're like, yo, Jill is gonna be in trouble. They know who the shooter is because a camera caught the shooter taking off his mask. Who the shooter is, who pops up right next to Jill as she's praying, 
the ex-husband. Wow, I was not even thinking about this fake Barack Obama. I was not even thinking about this guy. Like I was very, very shocked. So he comes creepy as hell right beside her. And she's like, yo, this is not the time for this. And then he just goes like, oh, it's God's plan. This is the reason why you didn't get shot. And she's just like, what the hell? Ding, ding, he's the shooter. It's a whole crazy scene. He's like, yo, we're meant to be together. The detective and the girls, they're looking for Jill. So he starts choking Jill, trying to kill her. Like this guy, if you guys don't know the history, he was married to Jill. And the whole time he was married to her, she was cheating on him with a girl. They got divorced and he's just been bitter ever since. So he's choking her and she picks up one of those things that holds the candles and wham, just pissed the right in the head. Which was funny as hell. Hit him, knocked out and this blood i'm just like for that little thing in someone's blood like come on that was over exaggeration the cop finds her and of course they arrest the dude really crazy scene so she starts blaming herself for like yo this is the reason why eric got shot this is the reason why brianna got shot the episode ends off they're trying they're doing the surgery on brianna they're doing it can't stop the bleeding they can't stop anything so she hits a flat line aka brie is dead so that was the episode, that's how it ended. I was expecting Brie to survive, I wasn't expecting her to die, but I honestly feel like the reason they killed her character off is because as Eve, the person that plays Brianna, she's pregnant in real life. Kill her off because of that? I don't know, man. They killed her off the first season. I feel like they could have wrote her character off a different way. They could have brought the character back, I don't know, because as you guys know, Remy Ma is joining the cast. So it looks like Remy Ma is gonna be in the next season as a replacement, but I'm just like, could have did something else they didn't have to do that they're coming back january 4th so there'll be no more queens reviews until january i don't know, comment down below tell me what you guys think about the review tell me what you guys think about the episode i felt like it was a good episode almost in the 25th thank you guys for watching me thank you guys for supporting me it's your boy g marcus tv signing off got it that's a wrap